All right, welcome back, everybody. I had the wrong forecast headlines graphic. Uh, maybe it's a little rust from being on vacation, but here are the forecast headlines. We've got a little January thaw that will be moving in for parts of the state here, but make room for more snow. Snow piles are getting pretty big, and I was on vacation for the last week or so, so I'm not going anywhere. Thank you for all of your concern. You're stuck with me here for a little bit uh, longer, at least. Uh, here's a look at the watches and the warnings. Winter weather advisory, wind chill advisory for northeast Montana. Now, this is not for additional snow that will come down from the sky. Skies are pretty much clear. This is for the snow that's already on the ground that will be blowing and drifting around here over some of the roads with winds up to about 40 miles per hour. So reduce visibility down through Harlington here and then just off of the Rocky Mountain front, also around Livingston over through Big Tim. And then, of course, we've got the wind chill advisory up here for northeast Montana is going into tomorrow morning. But take a look at the uh, big picture here. Look how much of the plains out through the Midwest is under a, either a wind chill advisory or a wind chill warning. And down along the Gulf Coast, those are freeze warnings. So we've got the Arctic air mass that hit Montana still is in Montana. It's now spilling out into the eastern part of the country. Very dark in Helena, two degrees below zero right now, a little lighter. Camera wasn't working in Helena uh, in Great Falls, 10 degrees below zero wind southwest 14 miles per hour. It's brutal out there. Feels like 31 degrees below zero, but that southwest wind will slowly warm us up here overnight tonight. A little Chinook will be happening. Current temperatures, you can see the numbers just north of Haver down around 39 below zero this morning. That's without the wind. You can still see the Arctic air mass, but down to around the south and the west. Teens and 20s above zero. You know, a little warmer air will start to move across the state here. Wind chill values now dangerously cold again. Haver 42 degrees below below zero. Ouch. Now where we have the wind, the air quality is good, but however, in the valley locations, we're going to start to see inversion set up and look at Bozeman unhealthy for sensitive groups. Helena Butte uh, down around Hamilton Billings and also brought us moderate air quality and that will likely uh, deteriorate here over the next few days as, as this inversion develops. High pressure overhead here, not much in the way of cloud cover tonight or tomorrow, but more of a southwest wind will develop over the next few days and that means the Montana prairies and also the higher elevations will start to warm up. If you live in a valley, though, likely that cold air will get stuck there into the valley bottoms, but not much in the way of precipitation really anytime soon. Here's the forecast for tonight. Still brutally cold here, but just off the Rocky Mountain front around Browning, around East Glacier, Shoto, Augusta. Temperatures start to climb here through the overnight hours. Temperatures as low as 30 below, Haver, Harlem, Chinook, Glasgow, Opine, Malta, down around 30 below again tonight. Central Montana, single digits above and below zero, and around the capital, single digits above and below zero. Here is the forecast for tomorrow, for Tuesday. Look at these temperatures, 30 degrees above zero. Even Great Falls pushing the freezing point tomorrow afternoon. I think here out into northeast Montana, these numbers might be a little high. Still some pretty cold air in place here and around the capital inverted. It will actually be warmer up on top of Great Divide tomorrow than it will be at the bottom of the valley. Here's the seven day forecast. So the Helena Valley inverted cold air trapped out in the valley. The air quality deteriorating the higher elevations around town, though, will have high temperatures getting up into the 20s and the 30s. You want to warm up tomorrow, go up to McDonald Pass. Okay. Temperature will probably be around 30 degrees and then a little more snow coming through Saturday night, Sunday and Monday. That looks like inches, not feet, a couple mm -hmm. inches uh, likely here with that little system. And for Great Falls, cold tonight, brutally cold, but look at the warmth mm -hmm. on the way getting up into the 40s later this week. Speaking of warmer, a 